Hey everyone, so today we're going to do my World's Barcelona Flesh and Blood uh, haul. So first and foremost, this is the player play map that was given to qualified players for the World Championships, Library of Solana. I had the artist, uh, Federico Musetti, sign it over here. Really nice souvenir of the said event. So let's get started. So one of my biggest purchases or biggest hauls is this gold foil Rosetta Thorn. So I'm a big Briar player. In fact, um, I went 8-0 in the side events of Blitz uh, during Worlds. And I'm just a big fan of Briar and I wanted to get this to commemorate it. Also got this one. Um, I already had this before, but I just had the artist um, sign it for me. And then after that, we have a few more items from Briar uh, that I got signed. We had Force of Nature's signed by Iswardi. We have, of course, the cold foil rune chants, which you get via tickets. I was able to get three. I had my shock charmer signed. I had my vexing quill hand signed as well. That's one of the great things about uh, events, big events, is that you get to have artists sign your favorite cards. I also got like a bunch, and I mean a bunch, of Oasis Respite signed. So as you guys can see, <laughs> these are all signed Oasis Respites. I had them signed because I wanted to do like giveaways and additional prizes for the armories that we run back in the Philippines. So that's the reason why we have this thick stack of Oasis for Spites. Um, I had my Fl Tome of Imperial Flame signed. As you guys know, I played Dromai. Uh, and I just wanted something from Dromai to bring home that was, I guess, uh, commemorated or something. And this is the one that I thought of doing. I also bought three sand covers that are promos i got it at a good deal at a good price so i couldn't pass up that chance uh ended up completing my set set of fate foreseen cold foils great deals for this one usually people would sell them for 400 dollars. i was able to get them for much lower than that so big shout out to the person who uh, got this for me um, i showed this during the recent vlog if you guys haven't watched it yet make sure to check it out this is my gold foil pistol but the great thing about this one is that it is already graded 9.5 nice pcg player slab this is what it looks like and then these are the promos that you get for the fabled package uh, which i also bought next we will take a look at this this is a limited edition deck box by metal fab tokens um, this one is like has the swarming blue veil art it has a rune chant in front of it. And uh, the guy at the guys at Metal Fab Tokens just tweeted that they had five. So I replied to them. I said I wanted one. And we were able to seal the deal. And I was able to get one box. Which I'll be using as a prize as well back in the Philippines. When we do our armories there when I get back. Now speaking of the worlds. Uh, we have the Barcelona Sagrada Familia Sigil of Solace promo card. I have one of them signed. The other two were unsigned. I was supposed to get it signed, but the artist wasn't able to catch her anymore. By the way, quick note, the same artist of the Sigil of Solace, uh, Sagrada Familia, was the same artist who did the Merlion Sigil of Solace, which I had signed as well. Um, apart from that, these are more cards that I got. Um, I was able to get a set of Construct Mechanoids because I am thinking of building Max. Uh, when I get back to the Philippines. And speaking of other decks that I am building, I was able to get good deals on this Dash Adult and Viserai Adult uh, Marvels. So, super dope cards. Excited to build them as well when I get back to Manila. Um, Cold Foil from the Ticket Wall. We were able to get the Soul Shackle. Um, other dragons that I had signed. I had a set of Chromai signed, a set of Necria signed, and a set of Vincericae signed. Um, I was able to get this Cold Foil Death Dealer. Um, we were able to win this during the Super Armory of Blitz, which is a Cold Foil Kasai. Um, Sintari Cell Sword. Bought this Bravo Cold Foil for a good friend. And then um, some custom art stuff. This I got from Calling Taipei, uh, from Nathaniel. So he's one of my favorite artists. He did the set of Blood Rot, Inertia, and Frailty. And I realized I didn't have, um, I didn't have a Ponder token that's custom. So I looked at the different artists that were there and I found this one, which just looks so cool. Ponder, nice, right? So at least I have like a custom set uh, of tokens that were made just for me. Speaking of custom, this is an artist proof of Force of Nature by Iswardi that I got from Calling Taipei. 
As you can see, it has a signature and he drew Briar um, here at the back, my favorite hero of Flesh and Blood. Um, but Iswardi actually isn't the main artist of Briar. Um, he, did, he did Force of Nature. Um, the guy who did Briar was actually Othon. So this is the artist proof of young Briar that I got from him. And at the back, he drew this amazing fierce sketch of young Briar. Wow. So I have two Briar <laughs> artist proofs now in my collection. That is just super dope and super sick. So let's just set that aside first. Now in terms of art sleeves, this is one of my favorites, which is the Eye of Ophidia, which I got. I have two of this actually, one from the player package and one from the Fable package. So we have two of this. And I bought a bunch of Tomeltai, Heart of Findel, Dash IO, and Starvo. So we have a bunch of sleeves that we will be bringing home to Manila. Last but not the least, and we need to make space for this, tokens. <laughs> Fab Metal tokens. A lot of fab metal tokens. I bought a lot because we don't get a lot of these in Manila and in Asia. So I want to get a lot for my uh, guildmates, my teammates, as well as everyone who wants to get one when they, you know, when I'm able to bring them back home. I'll just show you a couple. This is my favorite, which is the world's resource token. So you have the Sagrada Familia, one resource, two resource. This is the uh, war piece from Warmongers Diplomacy, so it says peace, it says war, art of war, art. This is like a pommel resource token. It even has the artwork of pommel to remind your opponent that you have two resources floating. And this is a really nice dishonor token that you put on your hero, on your opponent's uh, ability uh, text, so that he's, he is reminded that he is dishonored by you, all right? So yeah, we have a bunch of those, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I was able to get. It is a bunch of stuff. Apologies for the sound. I'm doing this near an open window, but I had so much fun. Um, and as you guys can so see, I enjoyed, you know, with this haul, and I'm looking forward to playing with them, giving them away, using them as prizes, and all that good stuff. Some of them selling back in Manila. So I hope you guys are all doing fine. I'll see you in the next vlog. Oh, one last thing. One item that I bought that I don't have here, but I'll show you a picture of, is a one-of-one -one sketch made by four artists. I also bought one in Calling Taipei, wherein there was this one sick art, and we did an art exhibit. So some of the artists who were part of that first series, uh, Federico and Iswardi, um, also made were part of this um, you, know, you know new sketch uh, here in calling Barcelona I calling Barcelona our worlds in Barcelona and they offered it to me at the end of the event and uh, who am I to say no to a masterpiece I'll show you a picture it looks dope I will frame it it will be displayed in a place of honor thank you to all the amazing fab artists I love your work I love supporting you guys and I look forward to meeting more of you in more events in the months and years to come